South African President Cyril Ramaphosa made headlines Thursday when, contrary to other recent announcements, he revealed that his government is now in the process of downgrading its embassy in Israel. Speaking to the South African National Assembly, Ramaphosa said, quote, The government is in the process of giving effect to a resolution of the governing party that South Africa should downgrade its embassy to Israel. And while the final date for the downgrading is not yet set, it's reportedly in the works for as soon as possible. Now, South Africa only returned its Israeli ambassador to Tel Aviv last September after recalling him the previous May. And this latest decision is in reference to a resolution issued a year ago by the National Conference of the National African Party. In the resolution, the South African government chastises Israel's, quote, violent aggression against Gaza along the border. This around the time that the March of Return riots first began. Additionally, the ANC passed a motion to downgrade the mission in Israel to a liaison office, if not to cut ties completely though this has yet to occur. Now, in related news, President Ramaphosa's announcement similarly follows the United Nations' High Commissioner for Human Rights' report regarding alleged abuses along the Gaza-Israel border. As usual, however, Israel dismissed the UN report out of hand, citing the UNHRC's history of bias against Israel. Therefore, Israel has already launched an independent investigation as well. And UNHRC officials, however, remain adamant that the report must be viewed and acted upon while criticizing Israel for rejecting its findings outright. Finally, all this also comes at the heels of a UNHRC blacklist of Israeli companies in the West Bank, though the publication of this list has similarly been delayed, in part thanks to Israeli efforts to squash it completely.